The air hung heavy with salt and dread. Gilgo Beach, a place once synonymous with sun-drenched days and the rhythmic lull of the ocean, had become a graveyard. Bodies, discovered in various states of decay, revealed a horrifying truth lurking beneath the idyllic facade. This wasn't just a random act of violence, this was the work of a predator, meticulous and cold-blooded. For over a decade, the identity of the Long Island serial killer, also known as the Gilgo Beach Killer, remained a haunting mystery. The victims, mostly young women, were discarded along the desolate stretch of Ocean Parkway like forgotten dolls. Their families, consumed by grief and unanswered questions, clung to the hope that their loved one's killer would be brought to justice. The police worked tirelessly, following every lead, every whisper, every fleeting shadow that might lead them to the perpetrator of these heinous crimes. Years bled into each other, hope flickering like a candle in the wind. The case grew cold, the trail obscured by time and the sheer depravity of the crimes. Just when it seemed like the darkness might consume all hope, a glimmer of light. A name surfaced, whispered in hushed tones. Rex Hoyerman. Rex Hoyerman, an architect living a seemingly ordinary life in Massapequa Park, became the prime suspect. The authorities, armed with new evidence and a renewed sense of urgency, descended upon his modest home. The news spread like wildfire, a shockwave that rippled through the quiet suburban community and beyond. Could this unassuming man truly be the monster they had been hunting for all these years? The charges against Hoyerman were chilling. Multiple counts of murder, each one a life extinguished, a family shattered. The evidence, painstakingly gathered, pointed to a pattern of predatory behavior, a calculated brutality that sent shivers down the spines of even the most seasoned investigators. As investigators delved deeper into Hoyerman's life, a sinister picture began to emerge. He was a man who blended in, a master of deception, who hid his dark fantasies behind a veneer of normalcy. His alleged crimes, however, revealed a depraved mind, a chilling detachment from the sanctity of human life. The investigation unearthed a web of secrets, burner phones, aliases, internet searches that sent chills down the spines of hardened detectives, all pointed towards a calculated and meticulous predator. Hormon's alleged crimes were not those of passion, but of a cold, calculated evil that defied easy explanation. The arrest of Rex Hoyerman sent shockwaves through the families of the victims. For some, it was a bittersweet victory, a sliver of justice in the face of unimaginable loss. For others, the pain was rekindled, the wounds of the past ripped open once more. The shadow of Gilgo Beach stretched far beyond the sandy shores of Long Island. The case became a chilling reminder of the vulnerability of women, particularly those on the margins of society. It underscored the dark reality that monsters often walk among us, hiding in plain sight. What could drive a man to commit such horrific acts? It's a question that has haunted investigators, criminologists, and the public alike. Understanding the psychology of a serial killer, delving into the darkest recesses of the human psyche, is a daunting task. Was Hoyerman driven by a need for power and control? Was it a twisted sense of pleasure derived from the suffering of others? Or was it something more complex, a confluence of factors that converged to create a monster? The arrest of Rex Hoyerman marked a significant turning point in the Gilgo Beach case, but it was by no means the end. The road to justice is long and arduous, paved with legal battles and the pursuit of irrefutable evidence. The families of the victims deserve answers. They deserve to know why their loved ones were taken from them, to find some semblance of closure in the face of unimaginable loss.